Welcome back. I'm Skylar McNielsen, and this is Point Blank. I'm sure by now you've heard of the give a -Wish Foundation, an organization that grants the wishes of dying freaks and perverts. Well, they're being investigated for allegedly ripping off the public by receiving donations that the givers had intended for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Illegal? Immoral? We caught up with Bob Dottolina at his office in Baltimore, Maryland. See, I don't see what the big problem is. You gotta read. I mean, they're called the Make-A-Wish Foundation, we're called the Give-A-Wish Foundation. The difference is obvious. I am a man of the people. I do good deeds. I help dying people. I've helped people all my life. I mean, take sugar here, for instance. Sugar used to be involved in the porno industry before I made a good girl out of her. Uh, didn't you yourself run that production company, sir? I think that's beside the point. The fact of the matter is, I pulled her out. You know how this started? I'll tell you. Samson here. You know, back when I was making movies, one of my stars, his name was Thor, was dying. Dying! Of prostate cancer. And he had one last wish. He wanted to have sex with Samson here. Now, Samson was my pet, but... Thor was a friend, and I wanted him to die with respect. And let me tell you, he did. He's dead now. He died with a smile on his face, and Samson up his ass. Just go once or twice. Watch what happens. See the looks on the dying people's faces. You tell me what's reprehensible. We did take Bob up on his offer. I caught up with Jackie Kyoto Saka, Bob's facilitator, on one of his supposed philanthropic ventures. Well, we specialize in all different kinds of therapy. We tend to usually do things more of a sexual nature, considering how other wish foundations seem to neglect that aspect of the human condition. But isn't that simply glorified prostitution? You may call it that, but honestly, that deeply offends me and everyone else who is dying and just wants to get laid. This is Leonard Boswell, a dying freak that the Giveaways Foundation is supposedly helping. I wrote to the other organization, but they denied my request. All I wanted was to spurt my hot jism into the folds of a Sharpay's wrinkles while being drenched in elephant pussy juices. Thanks, Bob Dabalina. Stand back, honey. The professionals are here. Herb's in the car getting the bitch. <laughs> yeah, bitches. Bitches, indeed. But who provides these bitches? That would be Irv the Perv, Bob Dabalina's longtime friend and Alcoholics Anonymous sponsor. We caught up with Irv Malinowski at his office here on the block in Baltimore City. You want it, I can get it. I'm a, I'm, I'm a perv of the merv. You can want it, I can dream it. There's no possibility too small. There's no dream too big. You, uh, I got things that'll make Larry Flint fucking fit flinch. Have you ever wanted to lick a sweat on the dead man's balls? Have you ever want to make a mess for so lushy? If you want it weird, I got it weird. You want it straight, you got it straight. Would you ever want a dominate dominatrix to beat your dick with a hammer? If you ever want to get donkey punched by a retarded bitch, how to do it? You got it up, you got it down, you want anything, it's no problem. Have you ever want to be stuffed fucked by a dead amputee? Have you ever want to be a frat boy's cum dumpster? You want it, I got it. All right, when Thailand wants real freaks, they call for me. I'm fucking international. Yes, they have gone international because some of the wishes they provided are so extreme, they can only be granted outside the borders of the United States. You know, it's been a lifelong dream of my buddy Harv here to be out here hunting the most exclusive game in the world. So, thanks to the good people at Give a Wish Foundation and Bob Dombolina, we are here. And we are hunting that game. Now this place is supposed to be crawling with them. So I think that 
Wait, wait, what's that noise? I think I think I see some of them right over there. Though his methods may be extreme, if you believe Bob Domolina, even when he's on vacation, he's dedicated to helping people. Even when we're on vacation, we're still dedicated to helping people. Cheers. 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 <laughs> but how is Bob Domolina helping people on this supposed working vacation? The secret may lie with this woman. My name is Mooncloud, and I am the Dolphin Whisperer. Dolphin Whisperer? More like Dolphin Pimp. She's been brought in by Bob Dottolina to help this man, whose lifelong dream is to have sexual relations with a dolphin. It all started with Heather Young and her dolphin summoning rituals. Um, um. Oh, dolphins come to me. I have to warn you, the following images are graphic in nature. Fine. God can get breast cancer too. So the guy's dying, right? And all he wants to do is get donkey punched by a retarded chick. So I figured, what the fuck? I think it was dangerous. Honey, honey. So, so I figured, what the fuck? I caught up Herb, you know? If anybody... Bob, Bob, I think something's wrong. Oh, honey, relax. We're on vacation. Yeah, we're on vacation. Oh, my dolphin. I see it. I see it. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe, but otter semen is hard to come by on the open market. But, you know, Bob, I caught up a Bob, friend that... Hold it. Honey, what are you doing? Stop. No. Hey, come on, look. I know what I'm no, doing. Dangerous. I know what I'm Come here, little dolphin. Come here, let me diddle your blowhole. Heather Mooncloud Young is now serving four consecutive life sentences for negligence and manslaughter. The Give-A-Wish Foundation was the target of an unprecedented 372 class action lawsuits and has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. In June of this year, Bob Dabalina and his nefarious associates fled to parts of the world unknown. But wherever he is, I'm sure he's practicing his own unique brand of philanthropy. I do good deeds. I help people. I'm Skylar McNielsen, and this has been Point Blank. Thank you, and good night. McNielsen, out!